Hi everyone, Jay here at OpenText, and today I'm going to walk you through how to create a link to a file that you can share with collaborators regardless of whether or not they have an OpenText core account. First thing we'll do is go ahead and log our friend Wendy into core. She's the project manager at East Dam Hydroelectric, and she's working on a project for an entryway staircase and path that the contractor doesn't have the municipal code uh, for the staircase, so they need that. And instead of collaborating with the contractor via OpenText Core, she's not sure whether or not they have an account, she would typically invite them to join Core or to share via Core using the Collaborators tab. In this case, she's going to create a link. Here you see the file name. She's going to create a password to secure the file, just in case she sends it in error to another recipient or another collaborator, and set an expiry date. In doing so, once that date arrives, the link will be rendered useless. So she'll go ahead and create the link here, and you'll see there's a copy link button right here. If she wanted to text the link or email it herself using her email client, she could go ahead and do that, and you'll see it's copied to the clipboard as anything else would be. But in this case, we're going to use the OpenText Core send an email to fire that link off to the contractor. There's their email. Wendy will go ahead, type a quick message here, and give a hint to the password for the contractor to use so they can quickly access and view that file. So go ahead and send it. And you'll notice instead of the ticker with the number of collaborators that a file would have, it has the link icon there. That indicates that Wendy's sharing that file via public link, is what it's called in OpenText Core. In the meantime, the contractor will get the notification with the password hint and the expiry date notice. They'll go ahead and click on that. Without logging into OpenText Core, they'll be prompted for the password to take a look at that file, the municipal code for the staircase. They'll go ahead and enter that again without logging into OpenText Core or needing an account. There you have it, the municipal code for the staircase that the contractor needed. So that's about how easy as it gets to share a file. If she wanted to revoke that link, she could go ahead and locate the file and do it that way. And the last thing I wanted to show, under the Shared tab, or menu, you can see a tab at the top called Links. That gives Wendy a quick snapshot of all the links to files that she's sharing. And she can go ahead and revoke those here. The municipal code has an expiry date. She's gonna leave it alone, but she realizes that this edit in viewer image that she shared out no longer needs to be shared. She'll go ahead and revoke that link. So a handy snapshot view of all the files that Wendy has created links for. And that's about how easy as it gets to create a link that you can share with users regardless of whether or not they have an OpenText Core account. A great way to share with particularly, um, or in particular, with external users. Well, thanks a lot and have a great day.